with another video so today I am going to be doing my summer basic foundation look um, for those of you who know me personally and who've been following me since the beginning I see you boo um, you guys would know that I live in Charleston South Carolina so for those of you who have never ever visited Charleston um, you don't know but it gets like really 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 hot down here like I'm talking about you get out your car and if you wear glasses your glasses fall up type of hot like it is currently 96 degrees outside and it's five o'clock in the afternoon so um, yeah it gets really hot so I tend to do my makeup a little different when the summertime comes um, one because my skin completely changes once the weather changes I get dry spots I get patchy spots I get spots that just absolutely won't take makeup I get breakouts as you can see like a lot of stuff goes down with my skin in the summertime so I kind of have to switch stuff up and I definitely don't want to end up with the clown face where you walk outside and like boom your makeup is melting off you feel me so I am going to show you guys how I do my basic makeup look in the summertime. So, here we go. So, first thing that I do, of course, is I prime my face. Now, in the summertime, I do like primers that promote moisture for the skin. Um, I do have an oily T-zone, as you guys can tell. I have no makeup on right now. Um, all I have on is like my eyebrows. Well, that is makeup, but I did my eyebrows and applied my lashes before this video. I am trying to wear lashes for y'all now, you know, because I love y'all or whatever. But um, <laughs> in the summertime, I do like to wear primers that promote, promote moisturizer. So I'm trying the new NYX Honey Do Me Up. Um, it has honey um, that is a nat natural antiseptic in it, so it does. Um, from, um, contain moisture in your skin and it also has golden flakes in it um, you know I'm here for a little shimmering gold child and then of course it has collagen and collagen is what keeps your skin nice and smooth and tight so I am going to just comes on a little flat and I just like to hit the T-zone on my areas well, the T my T-zone areas um, for any primer that I use and I'm just gonna place it on the around those areas um, I really like to get primer up under my eyes um, I like to get air, a lot of things up under my eyes because my eyes are problem areas for me I don't know about y'all but my eyes I tell you when I don't get sleep y'all can tell so I'm gonna take my beauty blender like sponge by Real Techniques and I am just going to buff this primer so after I do that I am going to keep the moisture in my skin by spraying a prime another primer on my skin to contain the moisture so the primer that I'm using today is going to be the Milani make it dewy this is all about moisture like when the summertime comes um, usually I love 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 matted looks um, I still love matted looks that's not gonna change but this is when the summertime comes it, it gets really dry here so I'm all about just moisturizing containing the moisture in my face so I just spray it all around So you just let that dry, you know? You can fan yourself, take a break, take a few votes, be like, ah, oh, ah, oh, yes. So the next thing I'm going to take is my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. I get the same exact color as my skin. The reason I do this is because when the summertime comes, I do not wear foundation I don't wear foundation because it's going to rub off like it's gonna rub off or it's gonna stain my clothes or it's just it's just gonna be hard to maintain because as soon as I step outside I'm gonna feel slimy I'm gonna feel dirty and I just I just don't like that 
But before I put my concealer on, I'm going to use the Benefits Cosmetics Lolly Balm to moisturize my lips. Because as I said earlier, it's all about moisture. So I am just going to place this on my lips because my lips have been drying out too. And it's like, you guys can see like the skin. It's like my skin is already feeling like the summertime just gets crazy for me. Like it does. So I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm literally just going to conceal the spots, the dark spots on my face. So I have a lot of dark spots around my chin that I don't like because I mainly break out around my chin, y'all. And I don't know why, I just do. And I'm starting to break out over here too. That This area is just, I don't know, Satan is trying to attack me because I don't know. And uh, I usually get over here corner of my nose because that area is really dark too for some reason and then I definitely get up under my eyes y'all so I get up under my eyes now some people are like oh my god I cannot like not wear foundation like yes you can boo you need to get you a heavy duty foundation um, you know, because nobody's skin is to the point where nothing is impossible in the makeup world, okay? So, even if you have to do a couple of layers, it is possible for you. Don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do anything. Um, some concealers that I would definitely suggest, um, like heavy duty wise, of course, would be the LA Pro Girl Concealer, the Tarte Concealers, um, also... MAC it has a great concealer and Kat Von D, Kat Von D is just awesome. Um, the tattoo concealer, I, I listen, I absolutely love it, okay? I would take that anytime, any day of the week, you feel me? So, and then I just go in and I just blend it on in with the same real technique, techniques for, um, beauty blender from before. I just blend it in. And I like to use the same one from before when I'm doing this because it still has the primer on it from earlier, the honey primer. So now that I am finished buffing in my concealer, and you can see like I, I already have a nice smooth finish because I literally only covered the places that I have dark spots, okay? So what I want to do now is I like to take my Sasha Cosmetics powder and a nice kabuki brush, and I literally just like to lightly brush some of the powder up under my eyes to still give it a nice highlighting effect when it comes to my eyes. Because my eyes are really big and they cause a lot of attention to my face. And you want to set this concealer really quickly because you didn't put any foundation on. Uh, well, you want to set concealer quickly, period, you guys. So, I just like to dip in there. Get my brush completely covered. And I just like to tap the excess off of it because I'm just lightly brushing. So, I just tap the excess off. 
pad. I literally just open my eyes as wide as I can and I just brush some of the powder over. Just to keep this area nice and bright. And then I just dip it in again and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and a other, another, ooh, got some Sasha Cosmetics powder on there and my other Kabuki brush just to set the rest of my face and tone, and tone a little bit of that moisture down a little bit. you guys after I'm finished setting my face I am going to contour now the whole goal of this is to use really light products okay so you want to use light products because you want your face to feel airy and free when you step outside in the heat so I'm going to of course going to set with my powder today and I'm going to use the black radiant soft focus and I am the color Ooh, what color am I milk chocolate finish so that is what I'm going to use and I'm going to take this buffing blending brush and I'm just going to contour my cheeks almost done so of course it's the summertime so you can't step outside with no glow boo -boo. we don't do them things around here now I'm not gonna add a blush but you definitely can because it is a powder um, but I'm not going to so I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in Sun Dip and I'm gonna take a fan brush and I'm going to dip into the color called summer so I'm gonna take my fan brush and I am going to dip in you feel me so I'm just gonna dip in and I am going to do this baby so after we do that we are good to go so we are going to take our Milani keep it do make it dewy from before and we're gonna lock these bad boys in for the rest of today now you could put any lipstick on that you would prefer I don't know what I'm wearing yet so I don't know which color I'm gonna do I am gonna shoot some photos afterwards though so you guys can see my finished look before I head to church and then of course you know I'm gonna list the lip color I choose below so I'm gonna set And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna go. So if you haven't already, please, please, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on other social media venues such as Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, and also Twitter. I love you babies and I will see you next week, if not the week after next. You know I can't stay away from you too long. Love, peace, and chicken grease babies. Bye. -bye.